When the Second World War was declared in 1939, the government was well aware of just how important tea would be to the morale of the nation. So they took control of all the factory stocks and supplies. And like the crown jewels, they moved their tea treasure out of London to protect it from bombs. So when tea was rationed in 1940, there was about enough tea for each person to have three cups a day, so long as you followed the Ministry of Food advice that it would be no more than one spoonful per person and none for the pot. But the military on active service got a more generous ration. For them, the bigger problem was how to brew it up. I've come to Bovington Tank Museum. Hello! Hello. To meet curator David Willey. This is a Second World War British Churchill tank. Do you want to have a look inside? Yeah, go on. Go up here. David is showing me how difficult it was to make tea on the front line. Oh, that's small, isn't it? Yeah, pretty compact. How many people would be in there, then? You've got a crew of five, five. three of them. Three just in this turret. Two down in the front. Oh, my goodness, packed in like sardines. The last thing you want to do in a space like that is to have a naked flame. You've got ammunition, you've got petrol in there, so you always had to come out to make cups of tea. Making tea outside with limited resources required some invention. This is what we call a Benghazi boiler, and it's basically just a handful of sand pour some petrol on, set it on fire, and you can see we've got a good blaze going. I can really see why you wouldn't be doing this inside a tank. <laughs> no, and the minute any vehicle stops anywhere, somebody's starting that Benghazi boiler going so we can get yeah. a brew on the go. And they, there's in the letters and the diaries, guys actually saying, you know, our morale went up and down in proportion to the amount of tea we actually got. Really? You want to give it a go? I'll give it a go. Oh, oh look at that, lovely. All them lovely tea leaves. A bit of a kick. <laughs> mm. The British thirst for a cuppa could be a risky manoeuvre. On June the 13th, 1944, an armoured squadron was destroyed outside the French town of Villers-Bocage. It's believed they'd stopped for a tea break. Incidents like these were tragically common. So the British came up with an invention that meant soldiers could brew up in safety. There's quite a sight coming towards you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That is a threatening thing you've got there, mate. This is a Challenger 1 tank. This saw service in the 1980s. This tank and every tank that Britain made after the Second World War had one of these in it, something called a boiling vessel. So nowadays, the crews can actually have a hot drink, safe and protected. That's where you plug it in. This is your tap, which turns around, and that's where your water comes out. And in the top here, and that's oh, where right. the boiling oh, is. Oh, I so see. Yeah, so that's your actual out. vessel. And that's where and it's that's... heated. So no flames, all contained. And Keep it's... our chaps safe inside. And it's an amazingly popular bit of kit. The British military gets through around 216 million cups of tea a year. And thanks to the boiling vessel, brewing up on the job is now a whole lot safer. <laughs> <laughs>